Sketch is a digital design app for Mac. You can use it for UI, mobile, web, uh, and even icon design. Now, if you've been using Photoshop, for example, for these things, then you should know that Sketch is a very capable replacement. Um, this course is not actually a Photoshop versus Sketch kind of course. Um, I made a separate Coffee Break course on the subject and if you're interested, you can find a link to that in the uh, lesson notes. Now, what I am going to do is give you my top three reasons uh, that I use Sketch from a web designer's perspective. The uh, number three reason is the licensing system. Basically, you pay for the app once and you can use it for as long as you want. Now, I just want to say something really quick about the new licensing system because uh, while it is true that you only uh, buy the app once, uh, that license that you buy lasts for one year. And in this year or in that year, you have all the updates included. After that year, you can still use that app. So after your license expires, you can still use the app, but you won't get any new updates. You will have to purchase a new license for that. Now, um, renewing a license is a bit cheaper. So while a new license costs $99, renewing one is $69. So, you know, $69 a year is not that much. Now, the number two reason is the fact that Sketch is a vector-based app, which means every shape you draw can be resized to any dimension without losing sharpness. So your designs will look great even on a retina or very high DPI screens. Finally, the number one reason is the ease of use. I mean, this is just so much easier to use than an app like Photoshop. For example, I cannot tell you just how much time uh, it saved me. And uh, speaking from a web designer's point of view, one thing that I also love about Sketch is the, the quality of the render, which means uh, the designs that you can create are very, very close to a finished HTML slash CSS result or web page. Uh, it's just very, very close. Uh, and because of that, you can really perfect a design and get it as close as you can to what you want, even on the coded version. It's just great. Now, uh, who is this app for? Well, first of all, it's a Mac app. So if you don't have a Mac, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use it. Uh, there is a Windows app. Um, I forgot what it's called, uh, but I'll leave a link in the lesson notes that uh, can interpret sketch files. So you can open sketch files in that app, but you cannot edit them. So you can grab all the information you want from them. But as far as working in Sketch, you can only do that on a Mac. Uh, now, Sketch is actually very lightweight. So you don't need a monster PC to run it. For example, I'm running it on a four-year-old MacBook Pro. Uh, it's top spec, 16 gigs of RAM, i7, all that stuff. But I bet this app would work just fine, even on the cheapest Mac available which uh, right now is, I believe, a $500 Mac Mini. So that's cool. You don't need like a very expensive Mac to run it. And you know, that's about it really. Anyone with a design background can use it. As I said in, in the beginning of this course, uh, web design, UI design, mobile, icon design, right? You can use this app for pretty much anything you want, except, you know, maybe heavy 3D renders and stuff. It's not for that, but there are specific apps for that kind of thing. And uh, you can even use it for wireframing or with the help of some plugins, you can use it for prototyping, which is very, very cool. Now, um, that's about it for this lesson. Thank you very much for watching it. In the next lesson, we'll uh, go over the uh, Sketch UI or user interface. I'll see you there.